we must let God speak to us before we speak his word to others. We must let God speak to us before we try to speak his word to others. And if you'll start looking at this lens through scripture, you'll see it all over the Old and New Testaments. Ezra uh, chapter 7, verse 10, tells us that Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord and to do it and then to teach in Israel its statutes and rules. First his own study, his life to study, to do, and then to teach. We read in Psalm 39, my heart became hot within me. As I mused, as I meditated, as I marinated, as I let God speak to me, as I mused, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Too many of us are trying to speak with our tongues before we have let the fire of God's word and God's spirit and God's holiness burn hotly in our own hearts. Now, how does that happen? It happens as we muse. It happens as we meditate. It happens as we wait on the Lord with this book open before us. We're pondering, we're thinking, we're processing. We're letting it soak into our pores. And as we do, the fire burns. And then when you get up, there's fire. There's power. It's not you. It's the Holy Spirit. You get up and you teach with your tongue. And God does something supernatural out of the fire of your own heart to use it as kindling to light fire in others' hearts.